here in the state of Texas, closer to home, we want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan. Mark, a pretty warm day out there. And it's really interesting how the temperatures are shaping up. I'll show you that here in just a second. This is the way it looks from Live Copter 3. It is a warm afternoon. Many areas are in the 90s, so perhaps a nice afternoon to take to the water. This is the American River, not too far from sunrise. And yeah, right now in Sacramento, the temperature stands at 97. Now, I want to let you know that 97, that's at Sacramento International on the north side of town. The winds out of the southwest at 11. I'll show you the importance of that here in just a second, but 97 degrees at SAC International. As we head through the evening hours, temperatures will drop off pretty nicely. We'll get a good delta breeze to bring in really significant cooling as we go through the night. But let me show you the temperatures throughout the rest of the area. Yuba City has been as high as 99 this afternoon, while Sacramento is at 89. Now, I just showed you that at SAC International, it's 97. Well, on the south side of Sacramento, at SAC Exec, it's only 89 degrees. A huge difference. If you go north of Interstate 80, areas in the north end of the valley, Redding, Red Bluff and Marysville have all been as high as 99 and maybe as high as 100. But then you look at Fairfield, the temperature just 82. Well, we have a delta breeze going into Sacramento County, but north of Sacramento County, we have a north wind, which is the anti delta breeze. So for those of you in Marysville, in Oroville, in Calusa, your temperatures are much warmer, but everybody will see some cooling as we head into the day tomorrow and over the weekend. There's a weather system up here to the north, and as it goes by, it'll kick up the wind, not only this evening, but also during the day tomorrow. This is tonight, getting that nice delta breeze. It'll take a little while to get to Marysville, but we will see the cooling into Yuba City as we head through the night tonight. This is tomorrow morning. That north wind that we have right now is gone, and then throughout the day tomorrow, the winds will actually pick up somewhat. It'll be breezy tomorrow afternoon. Sustained winds at 15 to 20, somewhat gusty in the high Sierra, but if that wind is in this direction and continues up valley. That means we'll see a big time cool down in Butte County and Yuba County and Sutter County, where right now temperatures are very, very warm. So temperatures will be dropping off through the weekend. It'll be breezy tomorrow in the high Sierra, but it will be dry. No thunderstorms tomorrow with a high of 70 in Truckee and 68 degrees in South Lake Tahoe. In the foothills, we will have a sunny and warm day tomorrow. Tomorrow's just the transition day to some cooler air. Placerville will still warm into the upper 80s tomorrow. We'll see a big time cool down along the coast with Fairfield just in the upper 80s tomorrow. Lakeport a high of 83 and for the Central Valley temperatures will be very comfortable tonight with the help of a Delta breeze and highs tomorrow will be in the upper 80s to maybe as high as 90 and for the Sacramento area a cool down from today, but still warm with highs in the upper 80s to low 90s Yuba City near 90 degrees. Now, after that, temperatures drop off even more on Sunday, mid 80s, and then look at next week, low 80s. By the time we get to next week, our average daytime high is 90. And actually, by the end of next week, it's 91. Hmm. So all of next week looks so we'll, so we'll have temperatures below average, maybe even more than 10 degrees below average. Hmm. If we make it through the whole month without hitting 100, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah. No guarantee on that. No, okay. no guarantee. I mean, it's happened before. It, it has happened before. It'll okay. be interesting. Yes. I'm